here in Mexico City for tonight's main event. Ten rounds in the heavyweight division. This should be a really good matchup here tonight. All that energy that we saw it almost boiled over at the weigh-in yesterday. Now it gets to explode here in the ring. fight like this that everybody's been talking about it's always so interesting to see these opening moments here in round number one staying away from those headshots with his defense up top a classic one-two combo by Muhammad Ali Tyson's opponent here is not known for being a guy that can really go deep into fights doesn't have a lot of stamina well, Mike may make that a very easy and good marriage for him. Yeah, that works perfect for Tyson because that probably means that his opponent is going to come out fast. He's going to be desperate early. He knows he can't go late. And Tyson loves to get a guy early. Tyson's combination punching here is showing you what good boxing is all about. Three punches thrown, three punches landed. Right to the head with that right. Lands flush with the two-punch combo by Mike Tyson. Ali's way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Solid right by Muhammad Ali. Targeting upstairs. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. And now he's acting like a fighter. Coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. This round comes to an end. A round in which this fighter threw a lot of punches, didn't land a lot of punches. I'll tell you, what advice can you give to him if you're the trainer? Well, first of all, deal with the psychological part. Joe, don't forget, 75% of this game is psychological. Don't let him get discouraged because even though he's not going to say nothing, in his head he's starting to get discouraged. Just say to him, hey, listen, you're going to catch him. Let's shorten him up a little bit. And you know what? He's moving his head, so go to the body because now you're going to hit him a little in the body because the body's not moving. Good one-two by Muhammad Ali. Ali's missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. Doubling up the jab by Mike Tyson. He just missed that shot up top. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. They trade shots. He comes back with a right hand. Nice work with the double jab to the midsection. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Tyson's fully committed to utilizing the jab, and I think it's working out well for him early on. Well, it is. It's kind of like, you know, sending static out there. You, you want to scramble somebody's radio signal. You know, that's what the jab does. It scrambles your radio signal, or at least in boxing terms, it throws the other guy's rhythm off. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. Tyson's effectiveness really damaged his opponent in that last round. Fires right back at him. Oh, and he's going to the body well. Oh! Muhammad Ali goes down. Ali is down, and his opponent put him there with a precision, perfectly placed power punch.
two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't know what Muhammad Ali has left, but I do know this. He's getting up, and he's going to find out. Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. Not the most accurate uppercut you'll see. That was nice. He just threw the punch on his opponent, and then a good counter by Mike Tyson. Yeah, like running through the rain without getting wet. Beautiful. Tyson's committed to that counter punching very early on here in this fight, and that can pay off as the night continues. Well, it's paying off right now because you see that his opponent now is getting a little worried about letting his hands go because every time he does, he doesn't find anything and he finds something coming back at him. That straight right unable to connect. Tyson's on the receiving end of a very good counter punch. There's another right hand. Brings an uppercut that really does damage there. Ali's once again can't get out of the way of that uppercut. Mark there going upstairs. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. And that's the end of round three. Teddy, we look at your scorecard here at the beginning of round four. He's up three to zip, but it may be a moot point. He's put his man down on the canvas in complete control of this fight. Yeah, he's hurt him several times. He's shown power, and his opponent has shown no ability to change things. That right hand over the top lands flush. Ali's showing us that he is sticking with the game plan. But keep in mind, that game plan had him down earlier in this fight. What would you be telling him right now, Teddy? Well, first of all, you got to explain to him very quickly and very clearly why he got caught. You can still do the other things. The other things that we thought going into this fight is still going to work. But make an adjustment. It's not that you didn't do the thing that could work. You didn't do it properly. Ali's flat-footed. There's no other way to describe it. He's not a fighter that gets up on his toes, moves around, gives you angles. He's flat-footed. Yeah, you don't have to be on your tricycle all over the place, but you can step a little bit. Get out of range. He's doing nothing. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Punch combination by Mike Tyson. To the head he goes with a left hand. Blocking a score. Seconds to go in the fourth. A well-timed right hand by Muhammad Ali. Ali's corner is letting him know. Take a good breath now between rounds, but then go out there and win this fight. It's really close. If he just pushes a little harder, he can go right over the edge and get it. Good combination to the body. Mike Tyson's doing a really nice job here. I mean, putting his punches together. This is what you're supposed to look like as an offensive fighter. Yes, it is, especially when you have a guy in front of you putting the earmuffs on. You know, you come up the way that his opponent is, you're supposed to put them together. One or two are gonna be blocked, but when you put them together like that, they're gonna get through. Good return fire that time. 
time. And now he's targeting upstairs. And now targeting his opponent with the overhand right. Halfway into round number five here. Scored well up top. Ali's lucky he just got away with one there. He just snuck in a headbutt. A crushing two-punch combo by Muhammad Ali. Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. Two good jabs by Mike Tyson. Final 10 seconds of this fifth round. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Muhammad Ali. Over the hump, the back end of the fight now begins. Ali's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Muhammad Ali. There are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because you got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. Muhammad Ali with a huge right hand. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. That is exactly what the corner wanted to see. A good combination punch by Muhammad Ali. Ali showing you a little defensive skill there. Able to move away from that punch. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Muhammad Ali. I like that step back right there. Just enough to be out of danger, but still close enough to then land the counter punch. Well, that's what happens when you have that kind of experience. You're calm enough to know that range. Know where the beginning of the punch and the end of the punch is. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Muhammad Ali. Mike Tyson, his nose has started to bleed. There's the combo downstairs. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? Tyson's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. Good doubling up of the jab by Mike Tyson. And that's the end of round six. Mike Tyson's defense is going to need to shine when he gets back out there. I mean, just look at the close-up of that cut we're seeing. Yeah, he's got to use his legs. You're right, Joe. He's got to get out there and buy some time for those medicines to work. And another right hand comes in. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. Off to the side. A little swing and a miss going upstairs. Now he brings the left hand upstairs. Mike Tyson's strategy coming in was to land a lot of jabs. Teddy, you got to grade him out with an A. Maybe even an A plus, Joe. That plus is the right hand. Once the jab has been there, bang, the right hand came just when it was supposed to. Give him an A plus. Good power punch. The right hand landed. Solid. Blistering combination. The speed of those punches just put him down. They got there quicker than his hands got back to cover. One, two. Tyson's back up on his feet. Let's see what he has now. 90 seconds to go here in this round.
Ali's combination punching is working well here. Takes one, gives one. The right hand scores well. He missed with that head shot. Nice work on the right hand by Mike Tyson. Tyson showing us a real, real solid skill set here with his head movement. Teddy, how much of that is just natural athletic ability and instincts, and how much of that is being trained? Well, most of it's trained well. If I take a guy off the street, Joe, and he hasn't been taught anything, he's going to throw punches. But usually, he's not going to have a good defense. That's something that has to be attained. That's something that has to be taught. This guy has been taught good defensive fundamentals. He's been setting a really good pace here as we start round number eight. Teddy's scorecard, you can see that he's up there. Uh, you got to be careful not to come off that gas pedal. I just feel because you're right, there's a double-edged sword here. Not only careful because you've been scoring, but just by being aggressive, that is what's been keeping your opponent defensive minded. So as soon as you let up off that gas pedal, his hands are going to start moving. Right, and the judges will notice that right away if the other guy's working more. Well, obviously. by Muhammad Ali. Targets his opponent after blocking a shot. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Muhammad Ali. Nice work to the midsection with the left. And Tyson with a block punch. left hand got to be accurate to send the combination to the body and he does that he took a shot but he came back with a right hand of his own and now he's targeting upstairs dismisses his opponent's headshot committing to the body work now he lands the right hand Muhammad Ali is the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. That's a good block by Muhammad Ali. And round eight comes to an end. Ali's probably sitting back right now saying, hey, I got everything figured out. Coming off of a sensational round you just saw, he was able to do some serious damage to his opponent. Yeah, you know what really did it was that left hook to the liver, that body shot. You know, that's like going into a restaurant and you get a stain on your jacket, you know, and the stain just doesn't come out. <laughs> you know, you go to your cleaners, it's still there. Those body shots, they don't come out. They stay with you round after round, and they keep doing damage. They keep paying off for you. He's got the benefit of that body work going for him. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Very accurate two-punch combo by Muhammad Ali. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. Good job on the two-punch combo by Muhammad Ali. Clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Muhammad Ali. Comes right back at him with a left hand. And a nice combo by Muhammad Ali. Halfway through the ninth round. Ali with a right hand. Tyson's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. Tyson's combination punching is just perfect there. Three punches landed. It's hard to believe that at this late stage of the fight, both men are able to give as much as they are giving. This is how you find out where somebody is brilliant. This is where you find out where somebody is special and does extraordinary things by pushing them to a difficult place. Look at that combination by Muhammad Ali. 
worked out really well, throwing off the right hand after getting tagged like that. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Last 10 seconds of the ninth round. And that's the end of round nine. Tyson's corner knows the situation here. Yes, we're up in a close fight, but anything can happen that can turn things around and go against us. Good, solid double jab by Mike Tyson. Tyson's not skipping a beat. He came out just the way he finished up last round. Yeah, what I like is that he's a thinking man's fighter, and his corner gave him probably good advice. They know that the opponent only had 60 seconds to recover, and they're figuring it wasn't enough time. Good scoring shot. It was a straight right. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Punches and bunches. Combination up top. Not able to land the headshot. Halfway through this 10th and final round. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. Super two-punch combo by Muhammad Ali. Blocks the headshot. Final minute of this final round of this fight. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Tyson swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. Jab and a straight right by Muhammad Ali. And they will bring it home in the last 10 seconds of this final round. The fight is over, but now the debate begins. Who won that fight? This is where you hope that the criterion for scoring a fight is understood by the judges because if there's any gray area, you're going to be all over the place in this one. Very hard to pick a winner. Mike Tyson, your winner by majority decision, Teddy. I know there's going to be something to talk about in the barber shops around the city, around the state tomorrow, because a lot of people are going to have a different look about that decision. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great night.